Kita lupa tak apa Kita buat macam ni Okay Hello there viewers This is Bloodborne with the cave And there's Doogie there I'm Doogie That's true And we're currently on Attempt number 4 Of Gascoigne Now if you did comment the last time It's hard to do the competition Because obviously I'm not going to check a previous video For something that may happen this video So you're going to have to comment again With your updated guess <laughs> Yep So <laughs> Hopefully I don't uh, drag this on 4 is the minimum yeah. If you're in the comments saying two, right, yeah. just enough. Oh, behave yourself. <laughs> right out of the gate, spamming the fucking shotgun. Oh, man. Oh, he's a bit of... Gases are actually well known to be wind-up merchants. That's how the Scottish people would say, or not the Scottish, because there's a football called Gascoin, and we'd call him Gazzle. Fuck off with the gun. I hate you so much. I right, got you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> it's the gun. I hate him. Oh, come on. And my he gun doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. If you're sitting there thinking, right, it's his fourth attempt. Surely he's equipped the music box this <laughs> time. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me tell you, you'd be wrong if you were to say that. Come on. I think he does become infinitely harder to parry when he's two-handing. I don't know why. It's maybe it's just that the attacks are a bit more unpredictable. Oh, nice dodge. But it should be worth noting, viewers, you can do this without parrying if you try to. You can just dodge, dodge. It's harder, technically. But it can be done. So if you're sitting there thinking, oh man, I don't really like parries, so you don't need to do that. Guff's actually gotten a bit better here without worrying about parries. So it's, it's kind of mindset sometimes. Come on. Oh, what? Oh, that's a bad one. Yeah, that's awful. Come on. <laughs> well, that's a bad one. Yep, nice. Because and, uh, what a strategy you can do here is... Music box plus Molotovs will do almost the majority of his remaining health. Forgot about the Molotovs too. Yep. Sefka's plugged in. Did it make you better? You've got this. Oh, nice. Oh, I've it. I missed it. Missed it. One health left. Oh, no bullets. Oh, no. Use it. Uh oh. Okay, go on. Let's do it. Can he do it, viewers? Stamina. Nice. 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 <laughs> oh man. Oh. That's, I tell you, seeing a health bar that close to the bottom, it's like it's like a drug. You have to keep pressing R1. I know. You just have to get it down. Damn. And I've got no resources. But you just ran out you just ran out of stamina at the worst time. Oh dude. 1 HP. <laughs> Unlucky, mate. That was last, but it was good. I mean, to me, that means see if you're to go in with 20 blood files, you've done it. I'd like to hope so. Yeah. yeah. I stayed alive longer without getting hit at 1 HP myself. Or no. than, than the entire fight. Right, okay. Viewers, apologies. I'm going to go and grind for all my resources again, and we'll see you back at the boss. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, viewers. We're back outside the boss store. We've got 20. Blood vials, I've put the tiny music box on and I've got two Molotov cocktails, so I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Let's go. Yeah. So we're on attempt what, six? Yeah, uh, uh -huh. yes, I believe so. Viewers will keep me. Oh. Oh, get him. Oh, unlucky. 
I think you would have still have done like more damage. So when he's like that, even if you manage just to get an R1, you'll have done more damage than a normal R1. No one near as much as a missile on the Oh, I got him, but yeah, I never actually oh, thought that I did. Sometimes yeah. that happens. Yeah. Wait, come on, Griffin. Wait. <laughs> she trying to make up for that one you missed? Yeah, sure was. Ooh. Oh. Spam. Over the camera. Uh -huh. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> Bullets left. Good call. No, for all the good they do me. I know. Hey, no bullets. In old school. Ouch. Get a wee music, music box. box if you wanted. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Maybe you get another use of that if you wanted to do it after the change, that would work. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Good go. Here it comes. Okay. So, yep. environment is actually quite tricky you do get stuck yeah. it reminds me of um the capra demon if it was like open yeah where there's just things you get caught on and in that one it's so narrow and this one's so wide but there's just like so many things that make the part narrow with these graves and fucking lampposts yeah they've put so much shit in the fucking uh, bathroom but there's, there's no way you can see too. it coming Aye, uh, there's a sack yeah. and lampposts and all sorts of fucking shit Okay, viewers, this is the fucking, what, sixth try? Oh, yeah. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> yeah. I believe in you, too. I was about to say, viewers, but decided not to do any parties this time. <laughs> <laughs> I fancied it there, you know? Aye, first one. Oh, the gun is Aye, such... So it feels like... Yeah, every two strikes he tends to get the gun out, so... Ouch. That one. Mm-hmm. Oh, the gun. Oof. Done pretty good damage though, he's at half, basically. That's a... Oh no, so I was going to say, it's a double hit one, but it's no. This is it though. No, it's not. <laughs> now, I don't know if you did the music box when he's a beast the last time, and it just didn't really work. Yeah, I, I think, think you have to wait. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the gun. I hate you so much. And then I think you can use it now. Oh, fine. I mean, nah, <laughs> oh, got him. Yeah. Oh, what of? Nice. Nice. Yeah, you've got this. No files. No lampposts in sight. Yes. Yes. Oh. Come on. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. That feels good. God damn. Oh, what a grudge match. 
I, I was saying to Guffy, like, as we were doing that, viewers, that even though Guffy knows how to fight that boss, see if it was, was off camera, he'd have probably done it first try, but just because he's live, he's had a couple of unlucky <laughs> tries, it gets in your head, then it just infects you. It goes, it oh, you're going to fucking be shite of this, and you are. Totally. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. True words. So, up here, there's a lady. Passed away, sadly. I'm not looking too good. The Red Jewel Brooch. Is that how you would say that? <laughs> <laughs> Is it Brooch? Uh, I think it may be. <clears throat> uh, it's Brooch. Woman's bright red brooch, engraved with the name Viola. Perhaps the jewel is a gift from a hunter, used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. With the proper workshop tool, various weapons can be fortified. It's a sad story, and now we need to can report also back make a to young the little girl, girl. Feel bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We need to report back so to the young girl there. Got there. You can either appease a random window. Or you can make weapons better. But the yeah. majority of people will choose to make the window feel better. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, sad tale there. Okay, we'll, we'll pencil that in for some time. Let's um, check out this Odin tomb key. Key to the gate that blocks the tomb of Odon. Beyond the tomb, Odon Chapel can be found in the centre of the cathedral ward. Only today the church is abandoned, and some say the residents of Odon have all gone mad. And here we are. Somebody else is pushing it. So we are, uh, Still people playing this game after all this thing. Yeah, which is kind of mad. It's kind of mad, but we are playing it. When you think of how many, you know, it's like a testament of a good game. You've still got people, and also a testament of the company still having servers on. That's true. Yeah. Or is it service? Is it P? Is it? Yep. Yeah, I can't remember how it works here. So. Oh no, um, I think it's is it not P to P? That's what I was thinking. I so peer to peer. It might be that. Yeah. Got a note here. The Burgenworth spider hides all manners of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. Terrible shame! It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. <laughs> Bergen Which is like spider. a massive plot thing that we've just heard about a spider that keeps things from us. Yeah, but, but we don't know what the fuck's know, going on. No, and we're not going to for a long time, but we get an incredibly good item here. Blood Gem Workshop Tool. Misplaced workshop tool from the hunter's dream. The hunter who retrieves this can fortify weapons by kneading blood gems into them. Blood gems add properties to weapons when used to fortify them, as by blood defines an organism. Cool. So that's like a little upgrade thing for your weapons. We'll check that out when we mm -hmm. return back to... Or, well, when we get the chance to. Yeah. So they started by a cutscene, and you can kind of just a bit see it in the cutscene, but they do something quite sneaky. That if you're the kind of guy that just goes forward all the time, you're going to miss a pretty important NPP here. Yeah, there he is. Let's see what he's saying. Hmm? Oh, you must be... Aha! Uh -huh. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your sin. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your milk. These hunts of everyone all locked up inside, waiting for it to end. It always does, always has, you know, since forever. But they won't end nicely, not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are coming by it. The screams of women folk, the stench of blood, the snarls of beasts, none of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, tell ya. 
But if you spot anyone with ill wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> So just putting yourself into the shoes of your player character here, imagine you came into a church and this was confronted. You were confronted with this. I mean, look at him. Aye. A disgusting you, puddle monster. Yeah. Uh, an NPP, no. as you said. Non-player Aye. puddle. Look at him. I mean, why in the fuck would we send anyone here? He looks Aye. like an oakster. You really have to leave your prejudices at one side because although this guy looks like, you know, yeah, you, you wouldn't leave like a family member with this guy. <laughs> no, no. Unless you wanted them to become a buddy. <laughs> yeah. So, I wouldn't but, trust him with microwaving my breakfast. No, I wouldn't trust him making his own breakfast. No, he couldn't solve global warming. No, and he would get you wet if you stepped on him. Aye, hundred percent. Should we talk to him again? Oh, yeah, we have sure. Someone while hunting. Yeah, he's just saying that there's a safe place here. So, yep. Yeah. And as it happens, he's actually telling the truth. <laughs> I know. Yeah, but he's actually the trustworthiest guy in the whole game. Yeah, pretty much. So we've got a couple of different directies here. Mm-hmm. So we've got a locked door, and something leads to that to open, but we don't know what yet. That's true. So what say we um, we take a little backtrack, tie up some stuff in central Yarnum. Since we're no we're near an episode of gaming just yet, we could go back yeah. and grab we've got quite a few yeah, we've the, got a few uh, MPWs to grab. Yeah, so we've got that that old elderly lady who hated us but wanted a safe space and we need to go and break the news to the young kid in the window that we found our parents. Plus we can level up. Yep. Mm. And I think we'll just put up both again, shall we? Yeah. Wonderful. How many um, upgrade materials do we have so far? Just one? Aye, no enough, but we'll, can we use this new thing? At least show it off. Oh yeah, let's uh, do that first before. Blood gem fortification. Fortify, oh you, on you go Garland. Oh. Fortify weapons using blood gems. Blood gems imbue weapons with special characteristics. Cool. Don't have any yet, but well, we don't have it's any, there. But <laughs> what this does, yeah, we can slot things in, you get little bonuses, it's quite nice. Yeah, there's German there. Hello. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice. As every hunter before you has. Cool. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. Sign me up for that. Okay, we'll keep our eyes peeled for a holy chalice. Just below our blood echoes up at the top right there, we've got a currency that's at eight the now. Hmm. Yep. That there is insight, <clears throat> and it actually details the extent of your inhuman and eldritch knowledge. And up here we've got a shop yeah. that the currency is insight, and I want to check it out because <coughs> now that we've beat Gaza, mm. um, we can actually buy his stuff, which is quite cool. Um, is it better than our stuff? Can you remember? Um, I think it's similar, but it has more poison resistance. Now, it might be yeah. handy at some point, but it's up to you whether you want to yeah, spunk all just, your insight. Let's just buy it. Why not? It's cool looking okay. as well. Let's own our gas going. Um, he was a worthy adversary. No. Really? So. Oops. You don't actually need to keep coming out of this. You can just. Uh, no, you can do R1 or something. Yeah. Or. the buttons. There you go. Oh, yeah, I forgot that um, our guy's face is a wee bit kind of sunburnt there. See that? Really? Colin. He's seen better days. But damn if yeah. he doesn't look suave. Okay, let's soldier on there. Back to Central Yarnum. No. Oh yes, All yes, right. sorry, my bad. Uh, yes. <laughs> Gosh, I ran there no, with such confidence what? last time. I <laughs> know. Oh, Perhaps a wee Gilbert chat. 
Oh, hi, we Dilbert chap. Never upset with that. Jenky will come to Wooden Chapel. <laughs> That'd be cool. Flame sprayer. I make no use of it, but perhaps you. <coughs> what afflicted me was incurable, but this time gave me hope. Their strange blood bought me time. I was most fortunate, unharmed by the plague of beasts. I could even die human. <laughs> Uh, don't you worry about me. <laughs> okay. So while we're here as well, we are going to <gasps> jump off <laughs> here. A cliff. Yeah. And go back to um, our sick room. The place that we awakened. Uh, yes. Gilbert's no sound too good. Um, sure isn't, man. Yeah. Let's put on the flames. He's breath. mentioning the he had a disease and he obviously came here to be cured so you could assume that he sought out the healing church and it doesn't seem to have gone that well no well it bought him time but he's still sounding mm. pretty bad so wonder what it gives well, okay so we'll remember this really nice lady who really didn't want anybody to come into her clinic let's have a yep. little chat with her we again we're not allowed to go in yep ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well, off you go then. If you find anyone who's still human, send them straight to Yusefka's clinic. You can assure them there's no place safer. Please, do me this service. Curious change of tune there, Yusefka. Yeah, she's now not too bothered at all about people coming in, possibly infecting the other patients. She seems a lot more stern. And her voice is a wee bit different, I think. Yeah, curious, okay. We'll keep an eye on that one, will we? Yeah, so what's now going to happen if you go and find NPMWs that are asking about a safe place, you will now be given two choices. You'll be given Yusefka's Clinic or the Odin Chapel. And then you get to make a decision on where that person goes. One other thing and to note here is that time has progressed. It's a wee bit later in the uh, evening after beating Father Gascoigne. You can see yeah. where they can... Uh, Red or sky in the up first, there. Yeah, and the first time I played this, I did not notice that at all. <laughs> you only notice it when you get a particularly big change in that regard. Yeah, so there is kind of world state things in these games going forward from Bloodborne. Bloodborne was one of the first ones that over the course of the game, the, the state of the world changed, so we'll keep an eye on that and we'll point it out as we notice it. Yep. Oh, come on, Guffy. <laughs> one more bullet. Gotcha. Could just do a couple more blood files, couldn't I? Yeah. Really don't want to fight this guy though. Come on, run. I guess you could try and do him with a backstab. Aye, true, but. Shape bag. Shape bag. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Back here with the dogs. Yep. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, come on. Go. Nice. I think some of them, yeah, I was gonna say, I think yeah. some of them can escape, so yeah, as well, we're just killing all of them. Sorry viewers if you're the type of person who gets quite upset by the killing of dogs <laughs> in games. Hey, they would kill me just as soon. True. As it happens, we are tripping over safe places at this point in time, but I'm going to tell of Odin Chapel, what do you say? Yep, that sounds like a good idea. Well, it... To a first time player, that probably doesn't sound like a good idea. Yeah, but because with a bit of insane knowledge, we. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Right, done. Right, let's uh -huh. return to the um, little girl in the window then. Mm hmm. Not looking forward to this conversation. No. Cold blood, do you? Yep, handy. Could get a few bullets if you wanted, Daniel. Oh, yep. Good call. Forgot about that. Quite a funny thing, and the first thing you meet that guy, we've obviously never done it because you never let him do it. But you walk into this bit, it's obviously really dark. Mm -hmm. You see a guy in a wheelchair, and you're probably thinking, well, he's probably an NPC, maybe. Then he turns around quite eerily, quite slowly, wheels his way around, and then just brings out a big, massive gun <laughs> yeah. and shoots you in the face. But it's quite <laughs> yeah. fun. Yeah. Just gonna run past these mm -hmm. gentlemen. See if I can get some good dammies here. Nice. It's again. Oh. Oh. Maybe <coughs> brothers coming. Oh, the other one's here too now. Mm hmm. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, he's Ooh. got me. Oh, this is <laughs> preposterous. <laughs> My God! Maybe we'll just was, cut to the window. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I was thinking brave of you going for the two. I know. I, I, I wanted the blood vials really badly. Yeah, true. Yeah. Okay. Right. Since I'm now back in Central Yarnum, hopefully, I think I'm in Central Yarnum. Yeah, I'll go this way, yeah. so I don't need to deal yeah. with any of that shit. <laughs> Nonsense. Uh. Use the sequence break bit here. And then we'll run on. Demonstrating how easily I could have run past all of this the first time. Aye. But you kind of want souls to level up. Blood echoes, pardon me. No. In your back, it's like... That this way is it's just even... It even feels faster. Yeah, that <laughs> was definitely mind. faster, wasn't it? Aye. Yeah. Kill this guy for blood. Aye. Good idea. Do you think these guys were always big? Sorry? Do you think these guys were always big? <laughs> or some blood like inflated them? Yeah. Uh, I guess curious. it would be blood inflation, wouldn't it? Yeah, probably. Okay, here we are. Not looking forward to this, but. Let's face it. Uh, and by the way, <laughs> how do we explain wearing his clothes? <laughs> nice. And over red jeweled brooch. Brutal. 
absolutely Aye. brutal. So good one thing. Good performance for that person, by the way. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. So one might presume that they might go and look for for them. Um, but to do this yeah. part, we actually need to reload again. So we'll catch you back here in just a wee second. Yeah. I think you can actually end the game, like quit to the start screen, and then it'll just pop you back here. Oh. I think that works. I like that. Let's do it. Yeah. By the way, if we are currently technically off mic, it was doing that thing again. I'm assuming, see when you cough, you're putting the gain down, aren't you? Aye, but you're getting Why it. Why can I hear it still? Why is it? I don't understand how that makes sense. Mm, true. How can I hear things when the gain's done? Because, I don't know. don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll just try and stop coughing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't bother me. I'm not looking at bad thing I bother about shit, but it was just, uh, it's just an, oh, I just don't understand. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, it's weird, it? makes sense. Yeah. Maybe it will come through in the video, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't it read on the audio in input capture on no, so that's like, what so, am I, yeah, what what am I connected to? Uh -huh. That I would hear Good. your host. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've reloaded the game here and the window is dark. No response. So we can assume that little girl went looking for somebody she must have snuck past this guy somehow yep. very nice still could be doing with some bullets mm. but ain't gonna sneeze at blood vials as well gonna need them sooner or later I always find these things quite impressive that folk have found this out because at this point in the game viewers you might be thinking what are you doing? Why are you just going back into the sewers? You absolutely don't ever need to come back here. But there's zero reason as far as I can tell mm -hmm. to ever come back to this bit. But you get yourself into the mindset of what would a wee girl do in her grief? What was she trying to do? Is she trying to find her mother? Is she actually trying to find and chatting because this is the right way for that yep could be both but maybe she just found a pig instead and sometimes pigs eat little girls red messenger ribbon red ribbon the messengers are oddly fond of the thick pungent red was drawn from the organs of some unfortunate victim a strange choice indeed, but perhaps for the messengers, wearing this accessory constitutes a form of mourning. Jesus. Okay, so the little girl came down here and was eaten whole by a pig, and all we have to remember her is a red messenger ribbon. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to yep. warp. Um, am I going to warp? I suppose I could just go up the stairs to Gascoigne. Um, but we're going to head back to Odin Chapel and that there is an episode of gaming pretty much I would oh, say is that actually? yeah yeah um, we're going to call it an episode of gaming just cleaning up stuff in central Yarnum plus obviously defeating Gascoigne to my move on to a new surprise. area next time yep so we'll say cheerio to you right now and we'll see yeah. you up in Odin Chapel at the start of the next episode oh, I can't so, wait see you later yeah. cheerio bye bye